Hey guys, it's Kelly. Welcome back to the channel Chilled Relax Plant Content where we talk about our plants and we just try to grow them the best we can. So if that's something you can relate to or you're interested in, hit the subscribe button. Let's be plant friends. So today is vlog five of my climbing slash trailing philodendron collection tour vlogmas thing. Okay. And today I'm going to be showing you my philodendron pink princess. So I have two of them. I got one as a cutting from my friend Albert at Breaking Board K. He also has a YouTube channel. Go check him out. And then I got one from Walmart. So I will show you Albert's cutting first because it looks better. Um, shocker. So this was the cutting he got, he gave me. As you can see, I kind of have it on a little stick here. It needs, it needs more support. Um, and uh, as you can see down here, it started off as a nice, cute little cutting. This was back when uh, pink princesses were harder to come by. And um, I was just really excited to get, get a cutting of it. And um, as you can see, it does grow very well. You will, or well, I did in my planty experience of this plant, you will go through having quite a few just plain dark burgundy leaves, which is fine because it's still like a beautiful plant just all on its own. Um, but it does have little splashes of pink here and there. And then one of the newest leaves it gave me had this big old sectorial spot of pink, which is so cool. So exciting. Um, this plant will get stuck as you can see right here. Let's see if we can help it. It's always scary trying to pull out a leaf. Here we go, we got it. Okay, we got the tip out of it anyway. See, it's kinda, it's all crunched up in here. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that. <laughs> so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get it out uh, and not break it. Oh, we got it, we got it. Okay, it's out. And then I just leave it. I get it out of the sheath and then the rest is up to the plant. Um, they have aerial roots <laughs> that just grow straight out. I don't know. If they get really long, I'll pull them down and put them back into the soil. I think that helps like the plant overall grow. Uh, but yeah, so this is the cutting I got from Albert. I gotta pull it back. Very pretty plant. I love it. Thank you, Albert, again. This is an amazing plant. I love growing it. I am going to, I think, just put one more piece of Velcro on this guy to try to help hold it up. Oh, let's see, let's see. So we're just gonna do that. The internodal spacing will shorten if it's given enough light. So if you don't want like a leggy looking plant, um, make sure you're giving it a bunch of light. And we're just gonna try to readjust the stick. And I think we're good. All right, so Albert's Pink Princess is still doing good, still looks good, beautiful plant. All right. Now, I'm gonna show you the pink princess that I got from Walmart. <laughs> it's a Costa Farms plant. As you can see, it needs a stick. I will be getting it a stick. Um, it has a little stick in here. It has two little sticks in here. So I guess I'll just use that and kind of Velcro it up for now. But uh, yeah, this one's, this one's crazy looking. It dropped all of its lower leaves. As you can see, this bare, very bare stem. I did get kiki paste. Um, so I'm gonna try to see if I can reactivate some of these nodes. It does look like some of them have like nodes that are trying to activate again. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that piece right there, but it looks like the plant wants to put out either like a branch or maybe another leaf. Either way, I'm fine with it. Like I'll take whatever the plant wants to give just to kind of fill it up a little bit more. But yeah, this is what she looks like. There is like a good amount of pink on this plant. I think there are three plants in this pot. Um, so there's like splotches of pink here and there. The leaves also still get stuck in this one. And we just try our best to release the leaves without breaking them. So we got that one out, good. But then sometimes like there's no problems with the leaves coming out. Like this one up here has no problem. I think that's mostly just like a 
a watering slash humidity issue. So, you know, if you're having those types of issues, I would just recommend increasing your humidity however it is you feel like you can. Um, you can use like a pebble tray. You could just mist the plants. You can get a humidifier if that's in your budget and you have space and want to do that. Um, so there's that. All right, so I think I released all any and all stuck leaves. You will, when you first start releasing leaves, you're gonna break a bunch of leaves. Like it's gonna, it's gonna take you a little while to figure out like how much pressure to give, when to stop. But um, you know, that's just practice and you'll figure it out eventually. So this is what she looks like, crazy, tall and crazy now that I've staked her up and she's more straight. But hopefully the Kiki paste will reactivate some of these nodes and maybe I will pot up Albert's cutting in with this guy to just make it like a, a, a fuller looking plant. Because if you put them next to each other, like Albert's cutting is very full. Like he didn't really, his cutting didn't drop too many leaves. I guess maybe because I got it from Albert, I took care of it more. I don't know. But so I think if I like put them up together, it'll be more full. I don't know. Let me know. What do you think in the comments below? If you guys have this plant, how do you guys take care of it? Alrighty guys, so this is gonna be it for my vlog day five of my philodendron collection. Let me know uh, how, you, how you're liking this so far. It's a lot of work, but uh, we're pushing through, we're trying to get through it. And uh, yeah, until next time, relax, plant, peace out.